made it down to uh, Lake Monroe, south side, on the Peninsula Trail from the William Dean Wilderness. I basically had this uh, whole thing to myself. So, yeah, I saw several people coming out. I saw nobody coming in. Uh, every campsite down here is completely empty. Uh, it looks like the sun's coming out at 4 o'clock. I made uh, a little over five and a half miles. I made it a little over two hours. I'm happy with that. So, right, enjoy the pictures. In the water to the campsite. Nice little uh, fire pit they built. Actually, I straightened it out a little bit. Got a couple of nice chairs. Discovered something very interesting when you go hiking at a <laughs> probably most campgrounds in southern Indiana where there's a lot of people. But if you look closely on the ground, it is springtime, and I do believe that is uh, uh, baby marijuana. <laughs> Only in Indiana, you probably find it in all campgrounds. So anyway, beautiful sight. Fire pit here, had a little bit of garbage. Uh, campsite up there. Uh, gotta do some camp duties, gotta get some wood and uh, make dinner, and should be a beautiful sunset. That's looking out towards the west right there, so should be coming right over here in a couple hours. Fire's starting pretty easy, especially when you're walking through pines. I take my little trusty bag of fat wood. Always keep it. I got a rod to throw some sparks. Of course, you got the handy dandy knife with a nice 90 degree spine. Build a little bed on top of uh, some dry uh, tree bark. Another thing you want to do is get you a nice supply. I got some medium small right there. I got some fairly large logs right there. That I should be able to burn them all night long. Uh, and also, it's always nice before you leave to maybe stock a little bit more wood for the guys that come after you. So I plan on doing that. I'll take a picture when I leave. Make sure we got a nice little stack for them. So be good. Water and dinner. Water is simple. I got my Sawyer Mini. Uh, this is all the dirty water in a 64 ounce bag. I can run it right through the filter. So I've already filled up my uh, bladder, two liters in my pack, that should get me out. Got me a bottle for my uh, crystal light. So now, getting a little dinner. So what do we got? We got the Snow Peak. Been around for years. Works great. The titanium, uh, I think it's the Snow Peak 900. Make three sizes. They make a 14, a 9, and a 7. This one's the 9. A little lid and a little. Actually, it's about the right size. If you want a nice egg, the trick is on these is put the water in it, boil the water, put your, a lot of butter in it, and then you can put the egg right. Let the heat from the water cook your egg. So, what are we gonna have? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? You got a little sweet and sour pork with rice. Of course, you gotta have some tortillas to go with that. Gotta have this some dessert. Oh, we got hot cinnamon apple crisp. We tried this at home. Uh, all of us did, Jeanette, myself, Evelyn, everybody loved it. So, uh, I've kind of air. This is, this is Mountain House, can't go wrong. This is my food bag right here. See the Summit 13. My water bag, when it's all done, it fits into the Summit 2 liter. Uh, a couple other bags. I got my first aid bag. Got my hygiene bag. And I guess other people's hygiene, which we discussed earlier. Uh, oh, yes, I do like my Snow Peak mug. You can make fun of me all you want, but 
it is a luxury item it's insulated super light so anyway we're gonna work on this you can see how fire is coming along I just keep pushing the logs in as we go still got a pretty good stack still got the small one over here so all right everybody be good uh, a little quick video uh, by the way the sweet and sour pork and uh, was very good very tasty had my uh, dessert the cinnamon and apple crisp um, felt like maybe a little cup of coffee uh, before sunset a little mocha so this is my other little toy I know it's, once again it's, some people think it's stupid it's a GSI it is a I love this thing it's a coffee maker and it works so well so basically over here I already got my oh the wind's going to take it a couple number four coffee filters like that I got my little hot chocolate put in there too of course, the water is definitely hot. So, we're going to turn that off. Just going to lay that right on top. Trying to do it with one hand. Basically, we're just going to steep this in nice and slow. Like you would a home with a dirt. I this thing is like I said, this thing works so good. You get on the reviews, it said REI, GSI. Basically I just had two teaspoons or two well, it's probably more like a tablespoon, so one and a half of them. Uh, went ahead and put a little hot chocolate in it. And we'll just let that sit for a couple minutes. Let us really take his time, let it let us do his thing. And when we're all done, let me show you here. Oh man, look at that. I'm just gonna stir that up. And I'm telling you folks, that is good stuff right there. Bye. Alright, another quick uh, update, gear review, it's all basically gear review, so, got the big Agnes, 15 degree down tech bag, I think it's 800 fill, uh, most of the down bags nowadays, it's not like the old days, uh, they're semi water, I don't know, resistant, but they do get a little wet, they still hold their fluff, of course, you still want to keep them dry. Uh, the nice thing about Big Agnes is this bag is a little bit bigger for side sleepers. Also, there is no down on the bottom. The bottom here is a sleeve, which we have a REI 3 inch pad. It's mama's pad. It slips in here. You don't roll off the pad. It stays in the bag. I think the bag itself is less than a, less than a pound. The pad is probably, well, I think the bag is 1.2 pounds. I know the pad is, I think, 12, 13 ounces. Uh, really like this bag. Like I said, it's it's a little bit wider in the hips, a little bit wider in the in the shoulders. A uh, little bit bigger foot box. Uh, if you sleep on your back and you like a mummy bag, then go for it. Me, I've never, never did like mummy bags. Um like them a little bit bigger so and real quick on the view oh my god look at that alrighty bye hopefully um everybody's enjoyed the quick videos have to use a camera phone i'd like to get a gopro so hero 3 maybe uh, anyway 
This is my first time back into really backpacking like I used to do when I was young. Um, testing out a lot of new gear. Testing out myself. Uh, I got a lot of plans. Uh, Firefox and myself are going to go hit the White Mountains in August, New Hampshire. And uh, we're going to do a gross elevation of over 14,000 feet when you add it all up. Hit 10 peaks. And then um, Red River Gorge will probably be before that. Nice little tune up. Maybe Smokies, get up to Chimney Tops. Uh, but hopefully, everybody's enjoying this. And, um, you know, I always like to challenge myself. Uh, you're never too old. You're never too old. So I'm, I'm pushing 50. Uh, you could be pushing 60. You could be pushing 70. Um, uh, never, never stop enjoying things, enjoying yourself, enjoying your family, enjoying life and enjoying nature. So sometimes that's the simple things in life is all you ever need. So everybody have a good Sunday night. Big all T's out.